Hi, I wanted to do a short unboxing video today um, from my last shopping trip. I went to two places. I went to a women's shelter thrift store and I also went to um, Goodwill right down the street from where I live. So um, first I'm going to show you what I got at Goodwill. First off, I got the cutest little kitty cat bookend. There was only one, unfortunately. I'm hoping when I go back, maybe there'll be another. Because um, I really love this. And I probably will not resell this item. Um, I got it at Goodwill for $2.99. It's made in Thailand. Worth every penny. I love kitty cats. This is as close to a kitty cat as I'll ever get because my husband's allergic. So, you have to take what you can get, right? Alright. Sorry if the paper rattling bothers you. I'll try to go at it lightly. I found these um, salt and pepper shakes. They seem to be crystal. They're cut. Um, the tops, I can't tell, I think they're plastic, but I just like the design of them. They're very pretty, and I think they would be lovely, um, if you set your table and use candles. They would be really pretty in candlelight. I got these for $3.99 each. I have not done any research on them yet, so I'm not sure... If they're a certain brand name or if they're just lovely they do have really polished bottoms on them and it does look like they've been used so I uh, will be doing some research on those next thing I found was the Sheffield think it's silver plated basket it's n really not in bad shape at all um, most of the time when I find things at Goodwill that are silver or silver plate they're they're in not that great condition and it is a brand name Sheffield it does have all its legs there's no damage to it and uh, I only paid $2.99 for it so I think I got a really good deal on it it's a really nice piece, I think. I usually don't buy silver because it's, I can't, I, I'll be honest with you, I can't tell the difference between silver and pewter sometimes. Um, I'm learning though, so <laughs> we'll see what holds in the future. Um, I got this, this is a metal little um, container. It does have a floral foam in it um, it's probably made in China I don't know it looks like it's hand painted though and it does have a lighthouse on that I will probably use this in my um, auction that I do from Anna Maria Island that'll be the first first Saturday or second Saturday in July I'll be doing an auction live from Anna Maria Island and everything's going to be a beachy theme or coastal or nautical. So I think this will fit right in. I only paid $1.50 for it because the red tags were half off. Alright. I got this recipe box. It appears to have some great age to it. It is signed, I believe, by the artist, um, Glenda Equal, 2002. But it is hand painted. It does have an arched lid. It's painted all the way around except on the back. And the cutest thing about it was it's painted inside the top of the lid 
and it does have a uh, some kind of a mat here but I just thought this was lovely I don't know I like um, things that remind me of my mother and grandmother and this is one of them it is felt on the bottom I got this for a dollar fifty as well because the red labels were half off okay here is a pewter chalice small one uh, I wish there had been another one of these but this was the only one they had I paid $4.50 for this because the red tags were half off but it's in really nice shape very clean it is marked on the bottom but um, I have not been able to I really haven't tried to read it um, I just saw what really good shape it was in and grabbed it especially since it had the uh, red tag on it it almost looks like it says Ramond on the bottom but we'll see later when I get my loop out so that I can really zoom in on it um oh these are for me I got a pair of nice seven denim, denim um, shorts one thing I've noticed in my wardrobe is I live in Florida and I don't have that many shorts um, I don't know why it's just happened that way I used to wear the paper bag top shorts that had the tie on them and that were really loose but I don't really enjoy wearing those anymore so I needed some new shorts also at Goodwill I got this uh, seashell tile it's very pretty it's got a really pale blue background on it and the shell is 3d and so is the little decoration around the edges I paid four dollars for this at Goodwill it has the hanger on the back to hang it on the wall and it is signed by Kate McGrusty McGrusty anyway I thought that was pretty and I am going to include that in my um, live from Anna Maria Island show okay what else did we find I think that's all I found at Goodwill um, these I found at the women's shelter they're just small little ceramic dish candles with pressed flowers along the top I got those for 50 cents each I think there were three of them I'm not sure if I'll resell these or just keep them for myself because uh, I like pressed flowers and these go with just about any decor and I like the little ceramic dishes they're very small and um, I think you could reuse those uh, make other candles to go in them okay next I bought an iPhone case with a credit card wallet in it um, this doesn't fit my iPhone because I have a smaller cheaper one but my sister I gave her my plus and I know this will fit it and it was only two dollars at the women's shelter thrift so I thought that was a really good deal and she doesn't like to carry a purse so this will be perfect for her Okay, next I got this really cool fish plate. There was not a discount on the uh, purple item, uh, label items at the women's shelter. They always have two colors that have a discount on them when you go in. Um, when I went in the discount was on the orange and the yellow tags so the purple tags were full price so I gave eight dollars for this it does say coastal collection ceramic I think it is made in China 
I don't think it's vintage at all, but I thought this would also be a good piece to have in my live from Anna Maria Island um, show. I'm always looking out for stuff that's nautical or things like that. Also, to go with the fish plate, they had the salt and peppers. So I think this is the salt. Look at his face. He's so cute. I just love these. I don't know. They're just really cute to me. I just really like them. And they are ceramic, so that makes them even more adorable to me. I love ceramic and pottery and things like that. And there's the pepper. He's got the two holes, so I'm assuming he's the pepper. So you don't over-season your food. And then, let's see. What is this? You know, sometimes I forget what I buy. Because I leave it boxed up so long. I've got so much. It takes me a while to process it all. I got this uh, Franciscan made in Italy platter and it goes under I think it's a gravy boat gravy bowl with the lid and it came with the ladle which usually you don't find those very often usually the ladles are lost or broken and discarded but this one actually still has the ladle. Isn't that beautiful? I love the colors. I love the artwork on it. Um, let's just take the tape off of it now and I'll show you the little ladle that's inside. Plus, you can see the artwork easier if you don't have the blue painter's tape. I do like the fact that they use the painter's tape on their items. And like Goodwill that uses packing tape because uh, it de tends to not damage the the uh, trim and the paint and the gl uh, glaze on items. So I don't know. I just really like this set a lot. I actually am going to have a hard time selling it I think because it's just so pretty and I happen to love things made in Italy I'm always attracted to Italian pottery but I thought this set was really nice um, this was a green tag so I did not get a discount on it it was uh, $36 but I liked it so much, I paid up for it. I usually don't pay that much for things, but every now and then I see things that I just have to have. Also, I ran into a good deal on Beanie Babies. I got these all for a dollar a piece. And I know they're not, <laughs> cute little fox, they're not really worth anything. But I thought I would donate these maybe to the Children's Hospital. Or if the Children's Hospital doesn't take them, you know, since COVID, everything's kind of weird about donations. Um, if they can't take them, I thought I would give them as um, gift giveaways at my auctions. Look at that puppy face. It's so cute. And there's a Siamese cat in here, too. It's just beautiful. You know me and cats. Here he is. Isn't he pretty? Look at those blue eyeballs. If I can get the tag out of the way. Beautiful. And they're as clean as can be. They don't look like they've ever been touched. And most of them still have the, the tags in the uh, plastic enclosures so that they don't get ripped and, and messed around with. Um, and there's only one more thing that I got, and that was a set of George Briard 
dishes. I'm not going to make you look at all 12 pieces, but um, I'll take out the set of three. And there is four, four sets of three, so there is 12 pieces. There's a cup, a saucer, and a dessert plate, sandwich plate, whatever you want to call it. These are really a beautiful, beautiful uh, pattern. Um, it says Peony, authentic reproduction of 19th century Japanese porcelain circa 1825 from the private collection of George Briard. So these were actually half price. Um, I cannot remember how much I gave for them though. I'll have to look at the receipt. I think I gave like $15 for the set of 12. Uh, which, just because of the really pretty designs and colors in them, I thought they were surely worth that. Okay, that was my latest shopping trip. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am on eBay. I am on Etsy. And I do live auctions every Saturday at 6.45 p.m. on Whatnot. I'd love it if you would join me. Thanks a lot and have a great day.